Hi, I'm Mr. Lyle, but you can call me Stan, and today we're going to work with multiplying by fractions. You've got to remember a couple simple rules in order to multiply by fractions. First, we need to remember that we call the top number on a fraction the numerator, and we call the bottom number on the fraction the denominator. If you have trouble remembering that, try to remember that that DE in denominator is used in a lot of words. It's used in deflate, which means to make smaller. It's used in demote, which means to bring down in rank. The DE means to bring down, so it's the lower part of the fraction. The easiest multiplication with fractions is when we multiply one fraction by another fraction. All we have to do is multiply the two denominators by each other, and then multiply the two numerators by each other, and then sometimes we have to simplify those results. Here's an example. 1 over 2 times 3 over 5. Well, we can change that and multiply the two numerators, 1 times 3, and put it over the two denominators, 2 times 5, 2 times 5, and then we just simplify that fraction. It's 1 times 3 equals 3, and 2 times 5 equals 10. So 1 half times 3 fifths equals 3 tenths. Now you try this one. Grab a piece of paper and a pencil and solve 1 half times 1 eighth. Hit the pause button now, do the problem, and when you finish the problem, hit the forward key to move on to the answer. This one's kind of easy. I just multiply the two numerators, and then I multiply the two denominators, and sometimes I'm going to have to simplify. So, the numerators are both 1, so the top of the resulting fraction is 1 times 1. The denominators are 2 and 8, so the bottom of the resulting fraction is 2 times 8. So I multiply 1 times 1, and I get 1, and I multiply 2 times 8, and I get 16, so the answer is 1 over 16. Next, we'll look at multiplying a fraction times a whole number, which is pretty simple. All you have to do is multiply the whole number times the numerator of the fraction, and you get your answer. Sometimes that's going to have to be simplified, uh, as it is in this example. 6 times 1 half. Well, I multiply the 6, the whole number, times the 1, the numerator of the fraction, and I got 6 times 1, and my denominator stays the same. So 6 times 1 equals 6, and the denominator is 2, and my answer is 6 over 2. But that's an improper fraction, and we'll need to simplify it. 6 over 2 equals 6 divided by 2 over 2 divided by 2. Now that may confuse you, but I, it really shouldn't, because if I divide any number by 1, I get the same number. And 2 over 2 is just 1. 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So, 6 divided by 2 over 2 divided by 2 is the same thing as 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. So my answer is 3 over 1, which I can simplify further to 3. And that's the answer to that question. Okay, grab a piece of paper and a pencil and try 6 times 2 thirds. Hit your pause button, and when you finish the problem, hit the forward key to move on to the answer. Alright, 6 times 2 thirds. 
Well, I'm going to rewrite the 6 to 6 over 1. 6 over 1 is the same thing as 6. Any number divided by 1 is the same number. So 6 over 1 times 2 over 3. I multiply my two numerators, 6 times 2, and that equals 12. Then I multiply my denominators, 1 times 3 equals 3, and my answer is 12 over 3. But that's an improper fraction. I can divide both the top and the bottom of that fraction by 3 and come up with a whole number 4. If you recall, I showed you how to do this a little differently a minute ago, but it's the same thing. 6 over 1 times 2 over 3 is the same thing as 6 times 2 over 3. Okay, let's talk about multiplying a fraction times a mixed number. The first step in multiplying a fraction times a mixed number is to convert the mixed number to an improper fraction. Let's try 3 and 2 6. Then I need to convert it to an improper fraction and ultimately I'm going to try to get to this number over here, 20 over 6. But this is how we're going to do it. 3 and 2 6, as you recall, can be rewritten 3 plus 2 sixths. But I can't add a 3 and a 2 sixths. I need to create a common denominator. So what I need to do is change that 3 to a fraction with a 6 as the denominator. Well, how do we change 3 into a fraction? Well, let's look over at the black box on the left. We know that 3 equals 3 over 1. Hopefully we also know that if I have a, a, a fraction like 3 over 1, I can do the same thing to the top and the bottom without altering the value of the, of the, the fraction. So 3 over 1 is equivalent to 3 times 2 over 1 times 2. 3 times 2 equals 6, 1 times 2 equals 2. So we just converted 3 into a fraction with 2 as the denominator. Well, let's say we wanted 5 as the denominator. We take the 3 over 1 and multiply the top and the bottom of that fraction by 5, and we'd end up with 3 times 5, or 15, over 1 times 5, or 5. But what we want in this problem over here is to convert the 3 to a fraction with 6 on the bottom. So we're going to take 3 over 1 and multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction by 6. And that'll give us 3 times 6, which equals 18, and 1 times 6, which equals 6. So now I have 3 expressed as a fraction with 6 as the denominator, and I can change this to 18 over 6 plus 2 sixths. And 18 plus 2 equals 20, and my denominator stays the same, and 3 and 2 sixths equals 20 and 1 sixth. All right, we just figured out how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction. Now let's multiply that mixed number times a fraction by converting the mixed number to an improper fraction and then multiplying. Let's try this problem. 2 and a half times 2 thirds. Well, you'll see I'm carrying 2 thirds forward into every iteration of this uh, expression. So just where you see that red two-thirds, it's, uh, it's going to stay the same. The only thing we're going to uh, manipulate or change is the two and a half. So the first thing we're going to do is change the two and a half to two, into two plus one half times two-thirds. Now I want to add the two and the one half, but I got to get a common denominator. So I first change it to 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2, plus 1 half. Now I need that common denominator. So I take the 2 over 1 and multiply the top and the bottom of that by 2, and then I add that to the 1 half, and then I multiply it times the 2 thirds. Now 2 over 2 equals 4. 1 over 2 equals 2. So now I've got my common denominator. I got 2 on the bottom of both of those fractions. So I can add them. So I've got 4 over 2 plus 1 over 2 equals 5 over 2. And again, the times 2 thirds 
we aren't changing it. We're just every time we we move to another uh, ex uh, uh, another way of saying the expression, we just carry that two thirds forward exactly as it is. Now I got five over two times two thirds. Five times two is ten. Two times three is six. So my answer is ten over six, and I can simplify that to five over three. And I can simplify that again to one and two thirds. Did you get that one? Well, let's see. We're trying to multiply one and a half times one half. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert one and a half to an improper fraction. One and a half equals one or two over two plus one half. And then I'm going to multiply it times the one half. So two over two plus 1 over 2 equals 3 over 2. And now I've got an improper fraction which I can multiply times the 1 half. 3 times 1 equals 3. 2 times 2 equals 4. So 1 and a half times 1 half equals 3 quarters. Here's another you can try. 3 and 1 fifth times 5 eighths. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move forward to the answer. All right, first thing I have to do is convert the 3 and 1 fifth to an improper fraction. So, as you recall, 3 and 1 fifth is the same as 3 plus 1 fifth. So, I've got 3, and I want to convert that to fifths. So, I to do that, all I have to do is multiply the top and the bottom of 3 over 1 by 5, and uh, I get 3 times 5 and 1 times 5, which is 5. So, now I've got 3 times 5 over 5 plus 1 fifth. 3 times 5 is 15. The 5 uh, denominator stays the same. I add 1 fifth to that and I've got 16 over 5. 16 fifteenths. So now I substitute 16 fifteenths for 3 and 1 fifth and I get 16 over 5 times 5 eighths. Now I could multiply that out, but that's a little hard to multiply, and I can simplify my life if I just reduce the tops and the bottoms if they're, uh, if they're the same, or multiples of each other. So the first thing I see is that 8 is half of 6, or 2 times 8 equals 6, so I can get rid of that 8 and replace it with a 1, and I can change that 16 to a 2. So now I've got 2 over 5 times 5 over 1 and I've got another uh, uh, number on the top and the bottom that's the same. I've got a 5 on the bottom there and a 5 on the top there. So I can get rid of the 5's and that leaves just a 2 over 1. 2 over 1 equals 2. Well that's it. We've covered multiplying by fractions and I hope you've learned a lot. Now it's time to test your skill. Go to the mastermath.info website, find the worksheets tab. On the worksheets page, you'll see a number of worksheets, including in the sixth grade first quarter section, a worksheet titled Multiplying with Fractions. Download and print that worksheet and then do the problems on it to make sure that you understand the concepts covered in this lesson. If you have problems with it, please go back and try the lesson again and make sure you understand how to multiply with fractions. Hope to see you again real soon.